What's up, Josh Fierstein here. Does it seem like your life has not turned out like you planned it? Does it seem like somewhere along the way that you had started out with a lot of vision and hopes and dreams and excitement about the opportunity of the future, but now, well, it seems like life has either plateaued or now it's on a steady decline, or maybe it's even fallen apart, and you're now feeling like it's hopeless and you're helpless. But I've got news, in fact, good news and hope for you today, and it comes from the story of Samson. Check this out. Here is a young man that has accomplished a lot. In, in, in the younger years of his life and the prospects ahead look great for him. I mean, his future is so bright that he's got to wear sunglasses. But somewhere along the way, well, Samson made a few mistakes and those few mistakes begin to define him because now he's been taken into captivity. Now, now he's in a place and point in his life that he finds himself in slavery and doing the work of an animal around and around and around the grindstone he goes. Life is not, it's not what he planned. It's not what he hoped for. Maybe right Right now you're in that same place. Maybe it seems like your dreams have died and your youth is gone and you're thinking I'm all washed up and, and things will never come to pass in my life. Dreams will never be fulfilled. But I've got news for you. That's not the end of the story. Maybe it is that the pen has been in the wrong hand. Maybe you've been trying to write your story, but the Bible says that God wants to be the author and the finisher of our faith. And the Bible promises that the end of a thing is always greater than the beginning. So I've got news for you. Just like Samson, God can and turn your life around as well. I need you to know that in the last part of Samson's life, he did more, 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 abundantly more for God than he ever did in the beginning of his life. You see, God let him go out with a bang, and God wants to do the same thing for you. No matter how much your life has fallen apart and moved from order to chaos, I've got news for you, is that God can take, put it back together again. It's not time to retire, it's time to refire. It's time to go after life. It's time to take a whole of life by its tail and chase it. It's time to do something great. And I promise the Bible says, if God be for you, he's more than the world against you because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So today I want you to hold your head high and I want you to know that you are a child of the king and that God is not through with you. It's time to just simply take the pen, take it out of your hand and put it in his so he can be the author and the finisher of your faith. And I promise every one of his stories in with the climax. So God bless you guys. Have a very, very beautiful day. Please take a moment and click share on the side or the bottom of this video and share this. Be there's some people in your timeline or your newsfeed that need this word of encouragement. Maybe even somebody on the verge of suicide thinking that all hope is gone. They're helpless and it's over. They're hurting. But I've got news for you. With God, it, nothing is impossible. That means that your story can turn around in the snap of a finger. So God bless you guys. Please take a moment, click share, like, and comment below. I love hearing from you guys. If you're not my friend already on Facebook, click my name at the top of the video and let's be friends. God bless. Have a very, very beautiful day.